Okay, please, um, if you're just joining us, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Question 5 says, if line AB is parallel to line CD and line CD is a transversal, sketch the line segment and label on the same diagram the following pairs of angles. Okay, so um, now the first thing we, you need to understand about this question, it's um, line AB. So this is line AB. It's a parallel line. So let's call this our A. And this is our B. Now it says it's parallel to what? That's line CD. So let's call this our line CD. Uh, make sure your line is straight when you draw your own, use your ruler. It says um, CD is a transversal. Now it means a line cuts across it. This is a transversal line. It cuts across this. Now it says sketch the line segment and level on the same diagram the following pairs of angles corresponding angles of A and G. Okay, so if you understand your corresponding angles, they are equal. Okay, so um, in order to get the corresponding angles of A and G, so um, these are corresponding angles. If you understand your corresponding angles very well, you can see they are equal because um, this is a straight line cutting across two parallel lines. The next one says um, alternate interior angles. Now, when you hear interior angles, it has to be in between this line AB and line CD. That's what it means by interior. So we have interior alternate angles and we also have exterior. So that means um, F is going to be here. So you can see F is alternate to G and alternate angles are equal. Then vertically opposite angles C and D. So um, I will take here as my C and I'll take here as my D. You can see that C and D are opposite and they are also equal. Okay, so that is the solution to this question. Now the next question says um, that's 5B. It says given that the triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR, AB is 4CM, BC 5 and PQ, line PQ is 18 cm and PQR is 30 degree. Find the area of triangle PQR. In order to solve this question, we need to sketch this diagram. So um, I'm going to sketch PQ first because um, PQ has an angle. So this is line P, this is Q, and this is um, okay PQR. Now it says PQR, this is 30 degree, and line PQ, it's 18 cm, okay? So that means ABCD is going to look somewhat like this, ABC, okay? Now, because they are similar, this place is still going to be what? 30 degree, okay? So, um, AB, it's uh, 4 cm. And then BC it's 5 cm. Okay, so now the question says find the area of triangle PQR. Now, in order to get the area of the triangle, we need to get two sides and the triangle. That means we need to look for side QR. So, in order to get side QR, because they are similar triangles, we are going to use um, the ratio. So, we'll say AB line AB over. AB over PQ is going to be equal to BC over QR. Now, notice AB is the same side with PQ and um, BC is the same side with what? QR. Okay, so having established that, um, we can now say AB side AB is um, 4CM. And then um, PQ is going to be um, 18 cm is equal to BC it's 5 cm over QR. So at this point we can cross multiply. This is going to be QR times 4 it's equal to 5 times 18. Therefore QR times 4 it's going to give us um, 5 times 18 it's going to be um, that will give us um, 90. Okay, 5 times 8 is going to be 
40 that's 0 carry 4 5 times 1 okay that's correct so qr it's going to be 90 divided by 4 which is going to be 4 into 9 we'll have um 2 then uh, we have 10 remaining 4 into um we have 1 remaining 4 into 10 we have um 2 um then we have um 2 remaining so we we'll put 0 to that 2 and we we'll put a dot Okay, so then we now have um, a 5. So I think it's 22.5 when you do your long division. Now, having established the fact that QR is um, 22.5, so let's call here 22.5. So now no, we now know this. To get the um, area of the triangle, is going to be the area, it's going to be half times PQ, line PQ, times line qr um sine pqr okay so now we know that we can get our area like this so we cannot put in our values this is going to be half times pq is 18 cm times qr is 22.5 times sine pqr it's going to be sine 30. Now, from your special angles, you are going to know that sine 30 is the same thing as 0 0.5. So, um, this is going to be 2 here is going to be 1. 2 in 18 is going to give us 9. So, we have 9 times 22.5 times 0 0.5. Okay. So, um, we did, we know that 9 times half that's 9 times 0 0.5 is going to give us um, 4.5. So this is going to be, this is going to be 4.5 times 22.5. So we are going to take out the decimal. That's 2225 multiplied by 45. So once we get this, we put back our decimal. 5 times 5 will give us 25, carry 2. Um, 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2, 12, put 2, carry 1. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1, that's 1, 1, 2, 5. Then 4 times 5, it's going to be 20. We write 0, we we'll carry 2. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2, that's 10. We we'll put 0 and we we'll carry 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, then we we'll have a 9. So this is going to be 5, 2, 1, and 1 plus 9 is going to give us um, 10. So, re recall we took out two decimal places. So, we are going to bring back our two decimal places. This is going to be 1 and 2. So, the answer to this is going to be 101.25. So, our area is going to be 101.25 cm squared. Final answer. So, as easy as this, you can get the area of the triangle once you understand the concept of similar triangles now um, do not forget to hit the subscribe button also do not forget to like the videos and share it with your friends and um click the um subscribe button so that you can get more videos from us